of playing for Veggie, we're gonna get you some arm sleeves. Uh, no, please don't. Unless it comes with eyeliner. We'll see about that. <laughs> Alrighty, so game number one on Smash Hill. Bit of a small stage for both of these. I feel like both of them would like a little bit more space. Um, but yeah, Dill already getting a good amount of follow-ups uh, going, but uh, just not anticipating the, the, the get-up attack. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, I like the spacing from Ethan, just trying to space around the top mm -hmm. area. And using the top as a marker right there before previously. Yeah, both of them are just like trying to play really safely at mid range with like the respective projectiles yeah. and the buttons. Um, but I feel like Dill has been the one that's consistently winning a lot of these interactions. So that's that's Dill's first vibe check. Is do you know the goal distance of the one that you were fighting? So now Dill's gonna be like, ah, I've got I've got to compensate. So Dill's gonna have to play back a little bit more um, and not not so up close. Just tighten up that spacing. Yeah. Oh, massive shield damage. And... Okay. Starting to get... out the double jump. Yeah, this is getting really hard. Seth Roth, really light of a character. Getting the weak hit of Bear. Could be setting up the Jago. Yeah, and everybody falls for that, man. <laughs> you can you can try to go before the Jago gets you, but <laughs> Dill is there, and she's swinging those 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 arms. Um, really good recovery mix from Dill too. Oh, but she's I believe she's all out of fuel. Yeah. All right. Up throw, tombstone, tomb, spiral driver. You know, I think about sometimes that Rob like has like a physical visible fuel gauge. Yeah. And and it's not nobody, any, Yeah, no, nobody pays attention to it. I'm not paying attention to it either. It's tiny. I wish it was on the UI. If the fuel was on the UI, oh, life would be so good. Oh, but we don't get that. We don't get that. It's ultimate baby. Not not everybody with resources it shows what they have. But that being said, Dill is doing a really good job of just keeping Ethan in the corner and really not like oh, oh, oh. that lasted forever. That extended hitbox on the... So, I would like to make note of something. That F-Tilt hit completely above the gyro, and yet it's the hitbox was still low enough to the point that it was able to extend. I think that just shows how broken gyro is. <laughs> if anything. I think that's just that forgot F-Tilt hitting that low. Bit of both. It's, it's a little bit of... It can't be both, you know? Now, you used to see him flying around. Ethan flying around with this wing. Oh, down smash not going to be able to take it. I like the non-committal tech chasing from Dill, though, but uh, yeah. maybe just like a little bit too slow with it. Was not able to get Jago out in time. Oh. And Dill, there it is again. Try to keep yourself safe as you come back onto the stage with the projectile, and you end up just making yourself more vulnerable at the end of the day. Yeah, and Ethan now lost wing. Just gotta be wary of that. Oh, Dill just backing off there, no punish on the get-up attack. I believe Ethan might have just like, is a lot of shield pressure, right? Side B yeah. and the get-up attack. Okay, manages to get out the setup right there. Mm -hmm. And you see Ethan now playing with a lot more confidence than previously. He's going for a lot more openings, and Dill, she's just in like immense pressure. Yeah, she's keeping herself so safe with these drivers, but I won't be surprised if Ethan just goes out there with like another call out. Like they're just gonna jump back off there and make it so difficult. But love the high recovery, completely avoids the ledge in the process. Um, <gasps> there's the kill? No! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you said no, and I agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> right. That's another commentary option select, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> up tilt, up tilt right there. Not gonna be able to take it. Back air also not gonna be able to take it. But 139 on Rob. Almost anything could. And another up air. We'll do it, yeah. Up here is so big. Dill thinks she can get away with the jumping for the ledge. Not, not here, apparently. Um, I feel like towards the end, Ethan really just started finding really good ways of smothering Rob. Um, they were spacing themselves really, really well. They were getting out there, just challenging Dill in places that she thought yeah. that she was safe. And um, it was after the first stock got taken, Ethan then got the newfound confidence, like, yo, mm -hmm. I can do this. Yeah. Also, they would like, I feel like Dill was just dropping some tech chases too. Like, that's a lot of what Rob does, right? Yeah. Finding like one big tech chase and being able to kill off of it. A little bit too slow on a gyro pull here. Maybe not accounting for Sephiroth's goal distance there. So yeah. if she's just able to adjust her spacing and timing accordingly, um, I think we'll be seeing a little bit more uh, yeah. aggression. But also, just to praise Ethan, there was actually just really good spacing on their part. Just max spacing their fairs mm -hmm. and bears. Just not to be able to get punished. Even like some of these can't even be punished on parry by most characters. 
Um, but yeah, with that being said, they're gonna be taking it to town city. This is such a good stage for Fu Rob, um, especially just being yeah. able to cover both high and low at yeah. the same time. Yeah, we both we all seen the memes of Rob Rotor Arm just killing people at like 20. Yeah. Stuff out here. I just, I just had a couple of flashbacks just yeah. play out in my head after you said just, that. Just non Wi-Fi flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's him. Dill, look, look how efficiently she's also moving around the platform. Ethan is trying to find a big jump in with falling neutral. That's already like four consecutive ones too, and Dill finally finding a punish. Yeah. Okay, th now we got the empty hop to up here. And Ethan also has wing now. So, Sephiroth with wing able to have more damage. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Still broken. <laughs> you just have to hold that. Oh, Dill, uh, a little bit too soon with side B there. Maybe trying to catch a buffy ledge option from Ethan uh, is not going to be able to do so quite yet. But she just, I feel like Ethan just spacing themselves really safely on Dill. Yeah, what? She'll kind of low. Yeah. Right there. And right there, Ethan's now running away while Dill's trying to mm -hmm. press more advantage. But it's just not, doesn't seem to be working. That time just counting the dragon, which honestly I don't mind because like they don't lose an air dodge in the process, they don't have to risk clinging. It's yeah. maybe the most consistent thing that they had, even if it doesn't actually oh, hurt Yeah, that. Up that. Oh no. Living. <laughs> that guy's Pikachu weight. Unbelievable. Oh, Dill once again not finding a tech chase a dash attack either. Ethan just made yeah. all of his options so ambiguous. Finds one of those down tilts, is tries to go for the second one, and Dill keeps jumping back on so aggressively. Yeah, and this is the moment where you probably hear one wing of an one wing of angel actually playing, <laughs> if like in Dill's mind, because <laughs> it, it's not looking good. I feel like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, no. so yeah, she's back in it. Rob has those low percent combos. She just needs to. She needs to get in. She needs to do it. Oh, great okay. catch on the shield. Okay, and this is the raw pressure that you want. Yup, yup, that's, why that's we the raw pressure that you want, baby. Those horizontal blast zones, so so thin. Just you, just you, just end up getting obliterated. Yeah, that's why we picked out. Damn, as that was just yeah. The, count, the counter pick coming into play. Yeah, good. Just wait and oh. stall for him, Dill. She really wants to respect that space. Wow, ends up connecting that. Oh, uh, She's uh, out. Uh, She's out here. Eleven percent done. We have an even game. <sighs> That's tough. Yeah, she just she just kind of ended up exploding a little bit. So. Dill, look, she's like not too confident on the timing of that. So the biggest thing you have to remember is that it'll go around you twice and then it'll always hit from the right side if it's just one. Yeah. Um, and if you have that timing down, you can just be, you know, as timely as possible without locking yourself into shield. Uh, I just did a second timer in my head. It's like about four seconds. Yeah. Oh, that's, Dill had a good idea. She was able to force uh, Ethan's movement with Jago and tried to catch the jump in, but just didn't have a spacing down fully yet. Yeah. But love the attempt nonetheless. Yeah, great ideas. Just a bit poor execution right now. Hopefully she can clean it up and not get a shield broken, but pushed into the gyro. Will this be the stock? No, it won't be just yet. Oh, Ethan with Jago in hand, almost getting a Jago follow-up. They'll really cleverly attacking away. Um, such a dangerous position, but she was just able to slide off the platform. Yeah. Okay, down smash. Cover the anybody's game. Uh, has the right idea. Uh, no, no. Yeah, that's going to take it right there. And the pop wow. off. That was just really well played for Ethan. I feel like yeah. they were just able to capitalize on a lot of Dill's um, just with the options, just able to space around Dill so well. Dill was nev never able to find like a lot of pressure at once. Um, and right there, they just... Dill, Dil, she just pressed back and left yeah. himself vulnerable. She, so she thought um, Ethan would do an immediate up B, but Ethan stalled well, with like it. Like an air dodge. Or like, yeah, just go back to stage as quickly as possible, because that's what you want to do when like you're off stage, you panic, you're like, yo, I don't want to be yeah. out here for so long. But Ethan's like, yo, I'm just gonna charge this a bit more mm -hmm. and just try to kill you for it, and that's exactly what happened. I got, got back here is just that slow. Got back yeah. is is really slow. Even though it's big and, and safe, sometimes I, I feel like Dill might have been might have wanted to go back onto the stage with it. Let's see what's what's going on here. She didn't get back onto stage. Yeah, no. I'm super. No, granted, Safu got up so, B. Might have still been able to scoop. Yeah, but, yeah no, this is scooping. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. That would have definitely. Scooped. She's she's too low. She's too low. Yeah. So I bet she's grabbing lunch. Yeah. Also, this song's a big, and then just like ends up falling right into. Yeah. Oh, ah, 
What happened? Where, where did they go? I was just moving frame by frame. No, you, you don't get that time. You got timed out. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. And just ends up getting scooped up to her death. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, gamers, uh, with that being said, uh, I don't know if we're still going to be on after this, but uh, we are going to be running some ads, and yeah. then we'll quickly jump 